I just sent them a simple message, follow up, try to ask, hey, I thought you had the Intel bracket for this, immediate block. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today, episode five is live. Here we are in this series. If you're not familiar with it, we are flipping PCs until we can buy a real life DMC DeLorean. This is a car that was made famous by the movie Back to the Future. I'd give it a look if you're not familiar with it. This is one of my favorite movies. A lot of memorabilia from that movie is something that I personally would love to own, like the car, the shoes, maybe a, a hoverboard one day, you know? And we are flipping PCs until we have enough profit to buy this $50,000 piece of history. So that's what we got going on today. All right, so after a long day of getting parts, we are back at the house, and this is what we've got in store for today. We have a Asus triple fan, 1060, six gigabyte version with the dark rock cooler, a X570 motherboard with the chipset cooler cover missing. So we got we have a story about that. 16 gigabytes of RAM from Corsair, a Ryzen 2600X, some RGB fans, a 500 watt power supply, which should be just fine for this. So the story time that we have with this X570 motherboard here is that I don't know if it works because I bought that board and an AIO cooler from Corsair from this guy here in Colorado Springs. And I tried to ask him a follow-up question about the thing because he told me that it came with both brackets, both AMD and Intel. And all I did was send a simple message asking, hey, uh, I thought she said you had the Intel bracket, immediate block. Red flag, super for me. Anyways, me being me, something you guys might not know about me is I'm petty. I am. You know, you try to try to screw me over or do me wrong in some sort of way. I want revenge. I do. That's me. It's a flaw. We all got them. I know mine. So I don't know if these parts work just yet. But my immediate response was just to uh, find this guy, which I did. So I know where this guy lives. I have his phone number. I, I know his name. I know all about him. Got all this information on him because, you know, I did some social engineering and a little bit of probably unethical stuff that I'm not gonna say. Hopefully this all works and we don't have to worry about any of that stuff. And you know, we can just smooth, smooth, smooth selling. So let's get to building. So how much did we pay for these parts? Well, this I was able to pick up on Amazon for 15 bucks. I got this graphics card right here for $60. I got this 2600X for 40 bucks. And this thing was 50 bucks, 20 free, free. And then the case I think was 40. Almost forgot my M.2, got this thing for another 40 bucks. So in total, what we've got on this system is about 265. And I'm going to try to sell this thing for 450, 500. We'll see. So far, I think this is the most we spent on a build, but hopefully that doesn't mess with our profits too much because we need them coffees. So before we get all of this inside of a case and try to button everything up, I wanna to try to save myself a little bit of frustration. So I'm gonna hook it up to a power supply outside of the case and see if we can get some sort of post because, well, um, I'd like to not pull my hair out too much. So let's build a little bit. All right, so we're gonna keep it light, keep it simple. We're getting in it. Put our CPU in, put a RAM in, put a cooler on. Old Ryzen 2600X. Going in. Okay, buttoned up. It's unfortunate that I do not have a heat sink for this thing. You know, I say that, but actually, actually, I might have one to a completely different board. Okay, so I do. Question is, is it gonna fit? Oh, but it fits on the bottom. Let's do that. Where did I get this random little thing from? Well, from some parts I bought, some dude sold me a motherboard and it was just in there. It's not my best work, but it'll work. Boop, boop. Get a motherboard box up here real quick and we will take our graphics card, hang it off the side a little bit. Okay. Absorb some of this heat. 
Well, the motherboard power's on. That's, that's a good sign, for sure. To my limited pea brain knowledge, that should have should have worked. See, but this absolutely gets power, so that's throwing me off a little bit. Hmm. Okay, let's try it another way, the annoying way. Okay, now just to make sure, so I won't jump to any conclusions just yet. Could the power supply be bad? Possible. Checking our connections. After reseeding the connections, nothing. So we'll try another power supply. Four doesn't work. So, Canon, we're gonna pay you a visit. Or Mark Evans. I don't like thieves. I really don't. But I actually have already gotten my money back because I was pretty quick with it. As soon as things was getting suspicious, I absolutely got my bank involved, like right off the bat. Paid with Venmo. Venmo suspended my account because I let them know about him scamming. Don't worry, Mark. We'll see you soon. So in a little fit of rage that I had right there, uh, I had a second thought because I had other power supplies and I was thinking, you know, there's two slots on this CPU power and I can distinctly remember not being able to get my board on because I didn't power it before. So I went and checked another one and found one that actually had enough power ports to run it. So uh, it looks like, from what I can see, it looks like it works. So we've got a post. So maybe I don't have to come for Mark. Looks like we don't have to audible. I'm not sure what's different this time with this power supply, because it sure didn't want to do that last time. And this thing not being able to jump off of a jumping pin. I don't know, weird, weird things. I don't know, maybe the Lord's looking out for you, Mark. I, I really don't know. Here we are, back where we should have been. Lord Jesus, just forgive us for any ill intent that we had for Mark. I'm sure that he's an upstanding citizen and didn't intend to make it look like he was trying to scam us. Amen. Moving on. So I've used these coolers here for a couple different builds now. And honestly, I love them. I love them because they're cheap, better than stock. They look good. You can do a push pull configuration for them and get some pretty good temperatures. So, you know, 15 bucks for an aftermarket CPU cooler that allows you to easily do a push pull setup without much at all, just needing an, an additional fan. It gives you the parts. You know, how are you gonna beat that, man? I really don't think you are. Yeah. You know, they used to say, you just need a little pea size. That's what they would always say. Just a little pea size dot of thermal paste. Nah. Not me. I like to dump a whole gallon of thermal paste on myself. Hey boys, I own there. Let's get this thing into a case. Can we take off this front? There we go. It's ain't a bad case. So there's not a lot, of, a lot of room in it. Could be good, could be bad. So I will use this fan at the bottom in the front. These other two we cast into the lake of fire. So before I install this motherboard, we're gonna install this fan. We want maximum colorage. We're gonna go three intake. Before we put these fans in here, we might have to put the motherboard in first. Yep. I gotta get on with some kids real quick. Because of how tight of fit it is, I'm gonna have to put in the dang power supply too, just so I can plug up the CPU. If I don't, I won't be able to get it in there. All right, here's the deal, guys. The PC looks awesome, all right? I know usually I do a, a B-roll type of thing, but the truth is I, I'm garbage at it. I'm garbage at it. It looks like butt every time because I don't have a gimbal. It's all shaking and wobbly and stuff, and I hate it, and it annoys me every time I see it. So I'm giving up on that, and I'm just gonna let you guys see it. Like, 
check it out. Now look, this this case honestly is it's pretty slick. I like how compact it is. The fans on this thing look good, but there is one change that I want to make. And I think it'll really set this off. There's just a black fan down here. I'm going to get another one of these fans, put it down here. We're going to be styling. All right, we're going to do some tests now. Let's run it. Okay, so let's check it out real quick. See what we got. See what we're running. All right, so you see, you see we've got the Ryzen 2600X, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and we've got the GTX 1060. Covering your six. Gotcha. 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 I'll come back for you, my boy. On your six. Oh, shit. Got him, boy, bro! Ultra presets. Do we have vertical sync? <laughs> I couldn't run. I was just trying to run. Get a little cheap hit. The PC ran really well. It handled Modern Warfare 3 just fine. High settings, high textures. Handled it just no issues at all. And Fortnite, it couldn't run it on Epic preset, but, you know, it did handle high easily, just as good as, you know, Call of Duty. So I think we're, I think we're in good shape. I think we're in good shape. This thing looks really disgusting, I think, when it goes to that purple and then switches back to that blue. I love it. Let's get it listed. All right, so PC's getting picked up here in a little bit. <sighs> Selling this one for 500. We're making profit, boys. Profit all day. I can't even get it. This be all theirs. What's up, Bernie? I know you can't see, bro. You only got one eye. You're embarrassing me. Shake. No, I'm not talking to you, dog. Bernie, shake. Shake, Bernie. Shake. Yeah. Hey, I want a dog. You want a biscuit? So these are just some of the original boxes if you want to resell parts later on, whatever, you know. Do you build them? You yeah. Build the whole time? Yeah, I just build them all the time. Oh, yeah. So. How long you guys been in? About three years. Yeah. Three years? Yeah. I did six in the air force. Man, she must love you. All right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. It. Yeah. Like I said, send me a message. Any questions? I'll help out. So. Thank yep. you so much. Yep, enjoy it. So there it is, we got the money, 500 bucks. We are in 265 on that PC, sold it for 500. I'll write it on the screen if I quoted numbers incorrectly there, but pretty sure that's what it was. So profit of 235. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you wanna see more, give it a comment. It just helps push the video out there and I definitely appreciate it. If you do wanna be more involved in this process and wanna help me reach this goal, uh, feel free if you have any old PC parts, not too old, but if you have any PC parts that you'd like to donate to the cause to go into these flips, I don't mind giving y'all recognition if you do that, just putting it out there for you guys that want to. Whether you help or not, doesn't matter. We're gonna get to this goal just the same. So hope you can like, hope you can subscribe. And if not, hope to catch you in the next one. And remember, it's a vibe. The tech five. We'll see you.